What is an important mistake that you made? Well, I guess I, I don't think that I would use the word mistake because I feel like everything has taught me something. Right. Everything. I do think that I am an impulsive person. And before kids, I would just wake up one day and be like, I got to go. And I would leave and I'd go and I'd do all these things. And I feel like when I have an idea, I'm like, oh, that's what needs to happen next. And I want it to happen right now. Mm -hmm. So I think my judgment on those things, whatever word we're using, um, I, I learned from those uh, fight or flight reactions towards that stuff that sometimes just because I'm clear in my mind, it might not necessarily be on that path mm -hmm. yet. Mm -hmm. So I said earlier, like the door is stuck or the door is locked. Yeah. Like I have tried to pull on a locked door a lot mm -hmm. until I realized, okay. And then later that thing has shown up in my life with such ease, right? Before yeah. I opened my studio, I was ready to open my own space. It didn't work out. I had to open it for other people. And it was not a mistake, but it was a very hard experience for so many reasons. Mm -hmm. And when I finally opened my own space, it was so easy, mm -hmm. like so easy. Everything was literally just fell into place in this way that I was like, oh, it was the right thing. I knew what I wanted. Yeah. It just wasn't yet. Yeah. And I feel like that's sort of a nice example for a lot of the impulsive things I've done in my life and being like, it, I, it's too soon. And so it's too hard to do. It's like eating a fruit before it's ripe, right? Yeah. It's not that it's not going to be sweet and delicious, mm -hmm. but if I eat it now, it's like bitter and hard. Yeah. And those two, I, I, I've learned that it's taken a long time. Yeah. And my mom used to study NLP, Neuro Linguistics Processing, and she used to always say, the moment we have an idea or a question in the conscious state of our, of our mind, the answer and the timing is in the subconscious. Mm -hmm. And until that answer shows up, it's not time yet. Wow. And I always loved it so much because I thought, well, yeah, but if it's back there and this is up here, now I have to look for it. And she was like, no, you have to be patient. Yeah. It's like baking a cake. Yeah. You make it, you put it in the oven, you have to wait. Yeah. Right? And so cake was our thing. Chocolate cake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, mm. but, but it was so real. And, and the more I practiced that, the more I realized that those mistakes or those um, poor timing habits <laughs> mm -hmm. um, we're really just uh, being in a rush to get to where I'm going next when what I needed was to, to stay right where I am yeah right they say it all the time when we're kids you're in a big Luna park and you get lost stay right where you are and we will find you yeah and then we grow up and we feel a little lost and we run yeah but what we need to do is sit right where we are and find ourselves again. Mm -hmm. And I feel like when these things come, at least for me in my life, I need a change. It's because something needs to be completed that maybe I can't access yet. Mm -hmm. And so I need to just pause. Yeah. And so I, I guess long-winded answer for the mistake is really that. Like just, just pause. Just mm -hmm. wait for a moment and see yeah. what it looks like in a little while. Yeah, wow. Your answer is hitting me right in the heart. It's so relevant to my life personally. And I love what you said because it connects also to what we were saying before that when we're trying to get clarity about a decision, is it coming from the ego or is it coming from our higher self, higher guidance? Uh, you mentioned that a good thing is to pause and sit with it and let the silence allow the answer to arise and it connects to this in that it doesn't usually it doesn't usually come up right away right right it, ta it takes a while and I love what you said that it's if the question is in the conscious then the answer is in the subconscious but we just have to let it I guess let the process happen of allowing ourselves to be ready to receive the answer a hundred percent oh I I want to cry 
<laughs> then you should <laughs> i might <laughs> tears are good tears are good yeah it's just because i have this thing with my life as well i always want to be already where i want to go and sometimes it takes time and respecting the time that it needs to take and re respecting each level that you need to go through to be ready to receive what you are trying to manifest or how you want your life to look like yeah so much mm -hmm. and we we actually covered that today in the shadow self part of the heart chakra is um this when you land in the shadow when you're always a step ahead of the sun mm -hmm. right and when we're in this shadow this area of suffering of pain um it we get stuck where we want to we don't want to feel this we keep going and we keep going and we keep going and now we're just in the shadow of it mm -hmm. if we just sit for a second then the sun will come back then that warmth yeah. will fill us then we'll feel the air moving through our body again that element of the heart and be able to recognize that we are we're running from something if we're in such a hurry mm -hmm. we might not know what it is and we might not need to know yeah. what it is but we do feel it yeah and in that moment of like why do i keep hurrying up to wait hurrying up to wait it's like we are moving to someone else's rhythm someone else's pace yeah or chasing something or chasing something mm -hmm. totally right so the the practice is being present sitting with it yeah i think we need we all need to slow down mm -hmm. i think everybody needs to slow down and i think that if we really allow ourselves to treat ourselves the way that we treat the most important people in our lives with that compassion and that patience and that love, everything starts to shift. And when we recognize that even if it doesn't feel comfortable, we have to wait a moment and this too shall pass, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, then it gets uh, gives us what whatever it is that we need to go to where we want to go like it's not that what we're craving or, or feeling is not where we're going next it's just what if you get there and the door is locked you mm -hmm. got to wait for them to unlock the door you got to open this one and walk around and then unlock it and then come back through it right yeah. so maybe there's just a different direction that you have to take to get there yeah and so that's that pause 